Well, Ethan, back tonight with another beer review, and I'm going to be reviewing. This is Bell's Official Hazy IPA from Bell's Brewing Company. They're out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. I've had their beers before. Uh, this is a Hazy IPA, 6.4% uh, alcohol by volume. Gets an 87, a very good on Beer Advocate. So 6.4, you know, not real high. Um... A little lower than a lot of IPAs that I've had recently, but still kind of a standard, regular IPA ABV. Um, it is a New England style IPA, hence it being the hazy. Uh, let's go ahead and get a pour on this one. So, pretty aggressive pour. To get more aroma and head, two finger, white head. The appearance is light golden. This is a more yellowish beer than a lot of IPAs. Um, not dark, very light, almost like a um, a lemon juice or a pineapple juice. Yeah, kind of looks like pineapple juice. Let's get an aroma. Not getting a lot on the aroma, but I did just have a, a Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA, so that could be why. Uh, this IPA has a Combination of mosaic, citra, azaka, op, amarillo, and El Dorado hops. Resulting in complex peach, stone fruit, and tropical notes with a dry finish and balanced bitterness. A refined beer for those who love hops and for those who prefer wheat beers. Go ahead and make it official. Okay, so an IPA for those who like wheat beers. So interesting. That tells me right there that this one's probably not going to be real hoppy. I got this at um, Trader Joe's, packaged on, is that June 20th? Can't tell. Yeah, I got this at Trader Joe's. Um, this one and a lager, um, one of them was 75 cents. 75 cents for a can of beer. Yeah, I can't remember if it was this one or the lager. One of them was at one dollar eighty nine. One of them was seventy five cents. I think I think I can't remember, but I had the receipt yesterday. I believe this was the one that was a dollar eighty nine. The lager, which I will review later, at a later date, I believe was the seventy five cent one. I could I could have had that switched around, but one of them was seventy five cents. I know for sure, which is really cheap for a single can of beer, uh, which was really nice. I had to get uh, I had to get the singles with that good of a price um yeah head that down let's go ahead and try this one okay so this one's a lighter ipa it is juicy it is hazy medium to light mouthfeel this is not real full body this is not real heavy kind of on the lighter side but really crisp and refreshing actually so really good really good ipa I've only ever um, liked the stuff that I've gotten from, from Bell's. Um, everything that they've put out is really good that I've had. I mean, there might be some that, that I'm um, missing that aren't that good, but this one's really good. Kind of generic, kind of plain. Pretty simple, but if you want a simple, generic, plain kind of IPA, hazy IPA, this is one you would want. Um, I like it. I've said before on my channel that I'm not a huge IPA guy. Not huge. I am, I'm becoming more of an IPA person, though, as I get older. Uh, but still, probably not my favorite style. It just depends. It depends what mood I'm in. 
but I'm really liking this one. I like IPAs a lot more now than I used to. Still, my favorite styles of beer are probably lighter beers like Pabst Blue Ribbon and then real dark like um, Founders KBS, for example. I kind of go one extreme or the other, kind of weird. Um, either really light or really dark and heavy. Um, but again, I do like IPAs. I'm liking them more and more the more I try them. But especially in summertime, they're really good. It's getting a little cooler now, so maybe stouts are more of the thing that uh, beer drinkers would be trying now. But I don't see why you couldn't drink an IPA year-round. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I can drink Bud Light in January. I can drink Imperial Stouts in July. It doesn't really matter to me. But, um, yeah, this one is it's pretty good. Not as good as the 90 minute. It's just not as much going on. It would be kind of an unfair comparison. Uh, this one's just kind of just a generic, good, decent IPA. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing, you know, knocking your socks off. I'll go 88. B+. Plus. That's a fair score for this. It's a pretty good IPA. I'll definitely enjoy sipping this tonight. Um... Got the Browns Bengals game, Joe Burrow and company taking on Nick Chubb, Georgia alumni, uh, tonight on ESPN. So I'll probably watch that while sipping this. Yeah, 88 out of 100 for the official Hazy IPA from Bells, Bells, the Bells, ding, 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 Bells Brewing Company. Cheers and thank you for watching.